I was drowning. I let myself nearly drown. That was smart. guys out with the ant lions. Because also, I haven't really explored this area at all. That was a trap. That was another trap. I just keep walking into these traps. Whoa. I don't want to fall down there. Apologies if you can hear people in the background. But stuff to deal with. Everyone's all excited. What are those things I keep walking into? Ah, <gasps> an extractinator. And that's a chest. A thunder zapper? That sounds cool. Let's, let's check that out. Kinda cool. Do you mind? Also, I got distracted the second I went to go look for, uh, you know, obsidian it seems, and now I'm just going through the desert. But hey, there's some there's some city in here. See, I'm not ignoring the task at hand. I'm simply finding a unique way to uh, pursue the task. I'm just I was just getting distracted. Okay, what is this? It's an antlion like. It is a gross little like colony. Ew. Also, they keep jumping to their deaths, which is impressive. Scarab bomb? What is a scarab bomb? Oh, those. I was able to make those. I didn't make any, but... What have we got here? A storm spear. Encumbering stone. Prevents item pickups while in the inventory. You are over encumbered. Well, that sounds extremely useless. Why am I taking it with me? What are you? <gasps> the golfer! We found you. Thank you for the rescue. If I were trapped out any longer, I could have done, come down with heat stroke. And he sells golf clubs. I don't know what I expected. <laughs> that makes sense that he has golf stuff. But why? <gasps> Lawn mower. I'm sure there's a reason for the over-encumbered stone. He just committed suicide. Harry Madison the golfer. Ow. I should have teleported away before he killed himself. Why did he kill himself? Well, I'm putting this over encumbering stone in here. What is the point of the encumbering stone? Is it useless? Was there zero point in me picking it up? That can't be right. 
Does that mean I have to find the golf find and save the golfer again? Almost certainly. Well that's good. Before I forget, let's make a fiery greatsword. Heavy. Slow but extra knockback. It is way weaker than the Sun Fury, so we're not gonna use it. But it will be useful later on. Um I'm actually gonna put it in that box. <gasps> the party girl! Yay! Where is the blood butcherer? Must be in the updated gear. Yes, it is. No reason for it to be down there, because it goes in this box. We've got half of the swords we need for a very special project. Which any of you that play this game will probably know what it is. So I'll just come out and say it. I'm gonna make um, Knight's... Is it Knight's Edge or is it... It is Knight's Edge. Because why not? I think I can actually make the blade of grass come to think of it. Which means I'll need jungle spores, stingers, and vines. And let's remind myself how to make the blade of grass. I think I need more spores. Jungle... I forgot about jungle armor. Snap for one. Uh, Ivy Whip. The Ivy Whip was better back in the day, wasn't it? Than the grappling hook? I'll have to look that up. Blade of Grass, though. 12 spores, 12 stingers. Let's make it. And you know what? Let's make the Ivy Whip just in case. Because my brain's telling me, yes, it was better. I don't have enough spores to make it anymore. Cool. Alright. But, we got one more of the pieces we need for Knight's Edge done. I did not think we'd be doing that today. Um. But hey, there we go. Inventory is pretty full, so I guess we'll drop some stuff off. Banana split. Also, the party girl moved in. Let's go talk to her. Arnie Palm Front, the golfer. See, I totally forgot that party girl was in this game. Because she only has like a 2% chance of showing up. So if you're really unlucky, she just won't appear for a while. Just set up a blink root party, set up an after party. Bubble wand, confetti, bubble machine, smoke bomb, confetti gun. It, it's, not, it's not like she sells anything useful, but someone's a writable focus. Okay, she sells pogo sticks. That's new. <laughs> I take back everything I said. So let's find the golfer. Only losers go for that high score. And he has a lawnmower. How? Nothing better than having all the space to yourself. I like the forest has all its great features for golfing. I'm guessing he hates the desert. <laughs> so while it would be hilarious to send him there, let's not. Also, I don't know what's up with it, but I seem to send them progressively less and less useful NPCs to the right side of town. <laughs> We've got like the goblin tinker and the nurse and the guide over here. And then like, as you go further out, it's like, ah, look. <laughs> ah, the apartment building owner. And
and uh, the golfer. I don't know why I said apartment building. None of them are apartment building. That we know of. It might be. Okay, leave some stuff. Well, some of this, these things are cool. They're also incredibly useless to us, for the most part. We have one more task that we need to do with this little part here. And I think we'll probably call it after that. Because... I'm so glad I brought the money trough. It's gonna save me some time right now. Don't forget the gold keys. We're going back to the dungeon. Which should be faster now that I have Hermes boots. Not if I do that. Uh, because there's a certain beautiful Japanese style katana sword that spawns down in the depths there. The Miramaza, which used to be one of my favorite weapons back in the day. Just because it looks cool and it's got like the blue watery blade. Um, but that's actually the last piece we need for Knight's Edge. So, I mean, might as well. Yeah, it's gonna slow us down a little bit. At some point I should probably farm the brain a little bit more. Just for a few more drops, but... Honestly, we're getting to the point where we don't need to farm the brain. Once we beat Wall of Flesh the first time, and kind of have a better plan drawn out, and some hard mode stuff, Wall of Flesh becomes a way better boss to farm. So, you know. But I guess the difference is right now I have access to the brain. Right now I don't have access to the Wall of Flesh. Speaking of the Wall of Flesh, I've noticed I've gone to the Underworld a few times now. And I have not yet found, uh... What's it called? Uh, a voodoo doll, which is kind of weird. Yes, we can mine the dungeon bricks. Perfect. This is great news, because if you remember previously when we came here, uh, we had a bit of a problem, which is... Part of the dungeon seems to be disconnected from the rest of it. Which is kind of sad. Also, I need to go through and get rid of these spikes. I'm gonna... That's gonna be my other part of my adventure here, is making it safe for myself. I like that I have a little posse with me. Angry Bones. Three. Yeah, like right there, I should clear those. This is just going to get me hurt in the future. Unnecessarily. Gotcha. The best way down. It's not the death pit. I can say that pretty uh, confidently. Death pit is not the best way down.
it's slow going, but compared to previously when it was impossible to dig through there, I'll take it. Ow. Unforeseen consequences. Could you not? I'm just trying to do my thing, my dude. Didn't mean to be on camera mode. Oh, look at all these potions and things. What have we got? Come on. Miramaza! Oh, perfect! Maybe we can summon there at Cthulhu. that noise is. Keep exploring. Yeah, see the dungeon is way bigger than it we thought it was because it turns out it's supposed to be this size. It's not supposed to be glitched in impossible reverse. What's this about? Um. Looks like I have a little more time than normal to, than uh, I normally would to record. So, silver lining. Not a whole lot more mine, it's like an extra five to ten minutes. Oh, for a moment I was like, am I still recording? Of course I'm still recording, I didn't pause the recording. Man, I had one run in with accidentally not recording something, which if you watch Phoenix Point, you'd know the part of I mind the wrong thing. If you watch my Phoenix Point series, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about there. But, um, <gasps> the handgun. We've gotten, like, all the things we need to out of the dungeon. Almost jumped into those bikes. I may have to f take a moment to find out what that drumming noise is because <laughs> I'm a little confused. Ooh. I love these new trap floors, they're very cool, but come on. Ow! It's just spiked up. Okay, that was almost bad. It is 4 a.m. I was gonna be like, oh, well, I guess I'll just fight a what's his face. And the Miramaza. Now, as far as I'm aware, they haven't changed the recipe for Night Touch. But they might have. In which case, I'm gonna look really silly 
when I try to make the super sword. Katie and Luigi are throwing a party. What? <laughs> it scared me. I was like, what is happening? Only good things, apparently. I thought we were getting invaded. Stop putting the money trough in there. Money trough is like the most useful item I've ever found. Okay, that's getting louder. I need to find out what in the world's happening over there. Hey, it's a party! Yeah, I'm gonna find out what's happening, because I'm up outside of this room. Um. Okay, yeah, just give me a moment. Alright, apologies about the cut there. Hopefully that doesn't pick up too much on the recording. But that was that was loud enough that like even with my doors closed and stuff and my headphones on, I heard that. So let's grab those four items. I can't remember if I can just make them on... I can combine them on the anvil. No. Didn't mean to do that. There. Four swords. Can I combine them right here? Or do I need to find a more particular... Oh, I can make the Phoenix Blaster. Let's do that. Cool little gun. And I should probably make Molten Armor. 30, 30, 45. I'm a little bit off Molten Armor, which is annoying, but... Travel Merchant's all the way over on this side of town. Glad everyone's enjoying the party, though. Even the traveling merchant is. That's cool. Uh, party hat. Where is it? Um... Where is it? A gold? That's an expensive party hat. Star Princess. Oh, that's that's adorable. Wait. That's very expensive. But like... I don't have a stopwatch, do I? No, I'm not. I, I need a few of these things. I need the stopwatch. I need the brick layer. And let, let's buy the Celestial Wand with all our money. Sure. Because this will summon... Where is it? Oh, does this replace my buddy? It does. That's adorable. I just spent a platinum on that. But I appreciate the Mario reference. Okay, do I need to go to the Crimson to make this thing? Uh, Crimson Altar, yeah. Let's find a Crimson Altar. Which way is faster? I think this way is technically faster.
All right. And pointy knight's edge. Unfortunately, it only does 46 damage. <laughs> Which, I don't know why the Sun Fury does so much. I think the Sun Fury might be broken, because that's, that's way too much damage. That's a ludicrous amount of damage on a pre-hard mode weapon. Especially one that attacks as quickly as this. But it's cool looking. Like, check this out. Ha. Ha. Super cool sword. It basically combines everything great about all four of those weapons. And I got the Phoenix Blaster. Which is pretty cool. Not super duper strong. Um, but a fun little weapon to have. Of course, if I had decided to wait and spend my resources on something more useful, I could have afforded something more... I could have afforded full molten armor, but what are you going to do, eh? What, what did you say? Um, hell. Yeah, he's like out of useful health, so that's interesting. Um, what do I need for this? Tally, counter, life, form, analyzer, and radar. I guess I don't have the radar. I thought I had the radar. No detector, stopwatch, and DPS meter. DPS meter is another random thing that he sells. I need the radar, but I don't remember how to get it. Bricklayer combines with those things for Architect Gizmo Pack. And you need all the other things to make to combine the GPS into the other big item. So unfortunately, as of right now, I can't even make any more of that stuff, which is too bad. Uh, but yeah, regardless, we've gotten quite a bit done today, despite having a bit of a shorter part. Um, next time, I think I might get the rest of the uh, Hellstone. I'm not doing this. I don't know what was causing that, but... Kind of funky. Oh, but yeah. So next time, we will get our uh, molten armor together, or figure out a better armor to use. Maybe I won't go molten, just because I've spent so much time slowly digging up Hellstone. Now I have to dig up more. But that was pretty quick. I'm indecisive. <laughs> we'll figure it out next time. Um, in the meantime, guys, thank you so much for watching. Remember to be nice for you to do awesome up there. And I'll see you in the next one. That was not a legible outro. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to be nice to your delivery people. And to be awesome out there. And I will see you in the next one. There. Best intro yet.